Hello and welcome to Driven Plus. Uh, you're joined by myself, Max Aftervani, and Troy Baker again. Hi, Max. Um, it's physically finally here. After nine months since you placed your order in March, we went to Range Rover House Unlocked. June, 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 June July time. Really yeah. nice day. Probably yeah. not one of our highest view videos. Link on your screen. Yeah. You probably would have seen that. We were told September, maybe. Yes. And then November. Kept going, December. Then December. And then February. And then, yeah, 16th of February. Yeah. Which then would have left it, we would have gone on the 24 plate. Yes. Because we would have left it till the 28th. Yeah. Or the 1st of March. Um, and then I got a call about two weeks, a uh, week and a half ago, two weeks, saying uh, it's, ready. It's, uh, it's ready to leave, uh, leave down there. It was actually finished and built in December. Um, for some reason, yeah. it wasn't released. I think they had some heating problems with the V8. Um, but it's Range Rover Sport SV, first edition. They're only going to make 500 of these. Yep. Uh, so this is the first ones. Uh, I'm going to talk about the spec, because uh, this is very carbon fiber rich, very carbon fiber heavy. For me, this is now the king of the super SUVs. You don't want your Lambo, Eurus's, uh, Aston Martin DBX's, Pure Sangre's, whatever. This is the king but it's very, very expensive. Um, I'll tell you what, let's start with the price. Price of this thing. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. Oh, okay. Well, we only picked it up today, Max. Yes, yes, it's only done, how many miles? 60? Uh, 63. Yeah, 63 miles. Hence why we're not actually doing a proper review. We want to get a video out just so you guys can see straight away. Um, but, but yeah, brace yourselves for the, pro for the price. One hundred and sixty-eight thousand eight hundred base plus two thousand six hundred and five and fifty-five for the on the road. So for, for you're talking base car. Yeah, base car is almost one hundred and seventy thousand pounds. And what what are we looking at here then? One hundred and eighty-nine thousand three hundred and fifteen pounds. But I did get some mats and flaps and things thrown in. So it's essentially it's a £190,000 car. Yeah, that, that, that bit does, that's quite hard to, to put two things together. £190,000 for a Range Rover Sport. Yes. So an SV big Range Rover, yeah. you're talking a well-specced yeah. big SV, but obviously this is the the top dog yeah yeah, I, yeah. top and, dog and, in terms and, of sport and, and you know the SV is going to be released this is going to be released in bigger numbers yeah, in yeah. a number of months yeah. the difference with this one is it's heavily optioned so at the 160 yeah. 170,000 pounds that is already a heavily optioned car so there's three colors that you can get the sport SV first edition in yeah. This is the Flux Silver. Flux Silver. Now, we may mention that the Flux Silver you can only get with the exposed carbon fiber bonnet. And you get the black, the obsidian black. Yes, and the carbon bronze. But the carbon bronze, you can't have the exposed. So you can get the exposed on the black as well? You can get the exposed on the black right. as well, but it'd be lost. It okay. would be lost in the color. Okay, now all the bumpers are different. They're very, very aggressive. Um, it's the little details for me. It's carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber badges everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Um, even the inside, there's carbon fibre all the way through. That's lifted up because when I say the best SUV on the market, this is me coming out now, that's because it has a BMW M5 engine. 635 brake horsepower, 800 newton metres of torque. Not 60, I think, is 3.6 seconds. 3.6. 3.6. And top speed of 180 miles per hour. Yeah. Yeah, like out, out of a, yeah, out of a, what has to be said. Yeah, I don't know how, how much this weighs, obviously. I Massive done. car. Yeah, it's a big car. Especially if you go and put it next to a 707 Aston Martin or a Lamborghini Urus, this is a very big car. So to do 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds, I, I, yeah. which we'll find out when you drive it, yeah, if we'll, that's a true fact. We will find out, but I'm, I'm going to tell you now, I'll get it faster than 3.6. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Well... Where's the engine derived from? Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. BMW M5. The M5, I think BMW say 3.3 seconds on the M5. 
a lot of those standard cars are doing sub three, 2.9. Are they? Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I, I think we'll manage to get a 3.3. That's my bet. Which would make it probably as quick as... Well, I think the OS is 3.6. Oh, is it? I, I'm sure. Is that the perf or the... No, I don't know. I don't. It's, it's all over you do. But yeah. obviously onto the car, you've got a uh, carbon fibre bonnet there. Look at the details. It's still it's actually quite light as well. You can actually feel it. Yeah. I like that. First time I've seen that, Max. <laughs> Troy. Um, now, we bring this down. Um, come, yeah, do you want to look at that? Y you can do it. Yeah. No, just because I've just pointed something out in your car which I haven't seen. There's a lot of it I can't Carbon see. Carbon fibre. We literally picked this car up three hours ago. The interior um, is... What, what, what would you call that leather? Uh, rosewood ebony. Yeah. So it's so it's rosewood and black. I thought it was going to be redder than it is. I'm really happy when I've turned up with no, it. No, no, it, it, it finishes the car off beautifully. Yeah. I, to be fair, the colour. I I I wanted the carbon bronze because I think that's what everybody will be. Soon as I saw this flux silver today, it's absolutely stunning. When we went to hey, how, uh, Range Rover House Unlocked, they had the carbon bronze one there, yeah. uh, which looked. Insane. Stunning. But this looks much better. Yeah, 100%. And I don't think many people would spec this colour. And I'm really glad that you spec the carbon wheels with yes. the carbon swamp bricks. But before you say this, because this is the price on top. On top of standard on wheels. On top of standard wheels. So you get 23 inch normal wheels with yeah. it, some forged style wheels. It, yeah. For the carbon fibre wheels, Seven thousand? No, no. Oh, six and a half. Six thousand nine hundred pounds for carbon fibre wheels. Yes, that's cheap. But how much were the alloy wheels that yeah. didn't come with this car? Uh, but six thousand nine hundred. I don't know if I curb them. I don't know what that means. It will. <laughs> <laughs> if you plan on buying a uh, Range Rover Sport SV with carbon fibre wheels, um, the dealer and the, the the salesman say. Uh, would you like to take out alloy insurance? Yes. There is no alloy wheel insurance. They won't. They, what, they won't insure. They won't alloy? offer. They won't offer alloy wheel insurance. Really? Tomorrow. No. Wow. No. Wow. I did ask. Okay. Carbon ceramic brakes. Yes. Yeah. Seven thousand. But they yeah, are the that. biggest yeah. carbon ceramic brakes ever put on a vehicle. Yeah, I think that 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 rings a bell now when we went to the Range Rover houses. I think yeah. they are the largest production yeah. sonic discs fit to a car. Um, but yeah, I can't wait until this. Oh, I think, uh, Max, it'll be really interesting to get out on the road because they talk about it having 6D Dynamics, which is effectively... For those watching, 6D Dynamics is a type of suspension setup. Yeah, and it's apparently very similar to McLaren's um, accu uh, accumulator-based... Fluid where system. it moves the fluids yeah. around yeah. the vehicle to give best traction to the best place. So, having had McLarens, you know, on what little I've driven this in the last three hours, it really brought a smile to my face. I am annoyed that I've got to run it in for 310 miles. It really is hampering, and I think on the way back, a 320 diesel overtook me um, quite happily um, <laughs> because it was so hampered, but it's going to release itself. See, that's quite interesting there. You just said... They're running a period of 325. Three, it's 500 kilometres, which 500, is, I think right, is about whatever 500 kilometres is. <coughs> I haven't done my research on home. Have you got your phone on you? Yes. Go on Google. How long do you have to take for, for a BMW M5 to be running? BMW. M5 running in M5. mileage. Five. Does, Does the BMW also... Yeah. give you a little bit more power I don't every know. time. I don't know, but I know on the M cars, you have to go back for a run and in service. Does this require one? Really? Do you know? Does, no, it doesn't require the service. Uh, See, that's interesting. In, what would you say? Well, running run, in... Run and in service. Well, well not uh, service, running in period. Yeah, running in period. BMW M5, F90. Uh... Twelve hundred mile, yeah. Break in service from oh, what I can service. Yeah, but up until the service, you go to your service. You do have to twelve hundred miles, and then 
the car or the service centre, BMW, will release the full power. So up to 1,200 ma miles, you have not got full power in BMW M5. Yeah. So on this, and I did download it, um, the break-in period, so from naught to 100 kilometres, yes. it's 4,500 reps. You can only go up to 4,500. 500 nanometres of torque. Yes. Then it goes 100, 200, 200, 300, 400, and up, to, up to 500. Yeah. And it goes up in like 50 nanometers of torque each 100 kilometers you go. And then around about 500 uh, RPM, four to 500 RPM gets released. So by the time you get to 500 kilometers, it has 750 Newton meters of torque. And it will rev to 7,200. There we are. Right. Um, what we can do, though, is start it up and give it a rev. Should we do that? I can do that for you. Let's go. So this brand new Range Rover Sport SV has a BMW M5 engine. That's right up my street. And this is what it sounds like when we start it up. And valves are open. Sounds very, very similar to a BMW M5. Which is what we like. Best Range Rover on the market? I think so. But do you think the supercharger sounds better, the 5 litre V8? Yeah, I think it does. But put an exhaust on this thing. Yeah, I think this one will be the one, especially for tunability. This thing can easily push out 800 horsepower on a stage one map. But on the rear, it looks fat. Carbon fiber badges again, and the SV emblem there, nice and white. What a car this is. I'd like to thank you for tuning in, and uh, we're going to get a proper review when Troy's done 500 kilometers in this car. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what it'll do north to 60. Range Rover say 3.6. I'm going to go with 3.3. It'll be out in a few weeks. So uh, yeah, keep your eyes on the channel, click the subscribe button, leave a like, we'll see you soon. Thank you. If you coming for my fam, then you know I take it personal. Say that you the goat, I asked around, I never heard I of never you. Heard. Rocky wrote ahead and there's some things I had to hurt of you. You pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison. Ain't no picking on me, y'all about to get me going. Yo, pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison. Ain't no picking on me, y'all about to get me going. Yo, windows down so all the haters see me. Back then they didn't want me, now they want to be me. Keep the grass cut low, cause them snakes still sleazy. Always knew I had to glow, I just had to find a reason.